what you saw in the lab today was a 3D printer which was printing a bionic ear, which is an ear that can uh, has biology and electronics interwoven into, into one another and can receive signals that are a million times higher than what humans can ordinarily hear. Because most people use 3D printing to print passive objects, things like figurines and um, uh, jewelry. There's been a little bit of 3D printing in terms of electronics. People have been printing antennas. And people have also been printing organs. The difference in our case is we printed, we merged those two concepts together and we printed an ear that, that's both the biology and the electronics and we printed it directly. So we didn't print a mold, but we printed the ear and the electronics all directly. What that gives the ear is instead of just being, you know, a piece of cartilage that, that's shaped like an ear, it gives the ear functionality. I think ultimately we're going to care less about our traditional five senses and we're going to want these new senses which give us direct electronic communication with our cell phones and our laptop devices.